Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we are going to see how to create this broken mirror portrait using Adobe Photoshop. And then we'll see how to use it as a template so this way we can reuse the same effect without having to redo the whole process again. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open uh, Photoshop and then I will go to File, New and I will create a new document with 1920 for the width, 1080 for the height, uh, 72 in uh, the resolution and of course you can change it to 300 if you want and for the color mode I will keep it RGB and white in the background and I hope it's okay. Alright, now the first thing that I'm going to do is to unlock this background so I will double click on it on here and I will name it main image and I will press ok now since uh, we are going to use this as a template we need to convert this to a smart object so I will right click on it on text in here and I will choose convert to smart object now we can place the image that we want to use inside this smart object so we can open it by just double click on it on here or you know go to the text and right click and choose edit content and as you can see it will open in a new tab now we can go ahead and place the image for me I will place this image in here so I'm gonna take it and open it in here alright as you can see it's a little bit smaller than the canvas so I need to scale it up a little bit so I'm gonna press shift alt or you know shift option on a Mac and I will make it bigger until it will fit so that's right here and I will place it and then I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. Alright, now I'm gonna uh, restorize this uh, image because I don't want to use another smart object inside this one. So I will right click and choose restorize layer. And I will close this. And as you can see, it will ask me if I want to save. I'm gonna press yes. And as you can see, we have it in here saved in this smart object. Alright, now I will go ahead and uh, open the, the reference image of uh, the broken mirror. So we'll take it and open it in here. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller. So again, I'm gonna press Shift Alt or you know Shift Option on the Mac, and I will make it bigger until it will fit. Just right here. Now I want these cracks to be in here. So we we'll right click on it and I will choose Flip Horizontal, and then I will right click and choose Flip Vertical. And as you can see, now we have the cracks starting from here. Now we'll one click on this check mark to commit change. And again, I will right click and choose Restorize Layer. And I will name this Mirror Texture. Alright, now uh, we're gonna use the pen tool to follow these cracks. Uh, you can use as many cracks of this as you want, but I'm not gonna use everything. I might like include these cracks in uh, the whole thing in here and also this one. So uh, I think I would end up using about 9 cracks for this so we switch to the pen tool and uh, I'm gonna also switch to the path in here as you can see in this uh, layers panel you will have a tab that's called path so just switch to it and then use the pen tool and make sure that you are using path not shapes in here all right so I'm gonna start by one click in here to make a point and I will go just right about here and make another point so I will click and drag and as you can see this will create these two handles that you can use so if I press control I can use this handle to change the path and also if I press alt I can use this handle alone not this one so I can use just every handle separately and also if I press control or command I can move any of these points so if I press control or command I can move this and put it right here so this is just uh, some tips of uh, the pen tool that you can use. So I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command and move this just to align with the, the crack. Alright, so I'm gonna make another point just right here. And again, I will drag to make this handle. And I will follow this crack. Alright. Now we can close it, so if I go to the, the, the first point that we create, 
as you can see we'll have a little circle that means that we're gonna close uh, the path so i will one click on it and now we have one path that is closed but we need to save this path because we're gonna use it later so to do that we can just double click on this work path in here and you can save it by just naming it so i will name it mirror one and i'll press ok now i'm gonna one click outside of this uh, path in here just right here and you can see now we have it deselected now we can use another path so i'm gonna start from here again and i will follow this one so i'm gonna use this crack in here so i will quickly do that And I will close it like that. All right, now we need to save it again. So I will uh, double click on it to name it. And I will name it mirror two. And I will press okay. And again, I will one click outside of uh, the path. And I will keep uh, going like this until I will finish all the cracks that I want. So I'm gonna fast this and I will be back in a little bit. Alright, as you can see, I am done creating all the path. Uh, I ended up with eight path, and you can uh, see them by just selecting one of them. As you can see, this is one and two, and so on. But we're not gonna use them just yet, so I'm gonna deselect by one click outside, and then I will switch to the layers in here. Now I'm gonna hide this mirror texture for now. We're gonna use it later, and then I will select this main image. Now I need to make 8 copies of this main image because we have 8 paths that means we need 8 copies of this so I'm gonna press Ctrl J or Command J 8 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 Alright, now I'm gonna put this main image one on top and I will hide it for now Now I'm gonna name this first uh, copy in here into mirror 1 and I will do the same for the rest Alright, so as you can see we have 8 in here, now I'm gonna select all 8 in here and I will put them in a group. Alright, so and I will call this group mirrors. And of course you don't need to do this, put everything in a group, but I like to keep uh, everything in here organized. Alright, now I'm gonna hide all these mirrors except for the first one in here. And I will select it and I will apply the first path on it, so I will go back to the path uh, tab in here and I will select this mirror one path and I need to make a selection of it so I'm gonna press control or command and I will one click just right here as you can see now we have a selection now we switch to the layers in here and then I will apply a layer mask so I will one click on this layer mask icon and as you can see now we have a layer mask in here let me switch to the move tool now I'm gonna unlink this uh, chain that we have in between the layer mask and the layer this way I can just edit uh, or uh, transform this layer alone without having to affect this layer mask. So I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna press Ctrl T or Command T on a Mac and I will just move it so I will put it where I want as you can see. And this way we can have that uh, broken mirror effect. Alright so somewhere like here it will be good. And I will one click on this check mark to commit to change. Alright, so I will do the same. I will uh, make the mirror to uh, layer visible. And again, I will switch to path. And I will uh, select this mirror to path. And again, I'm going to press control or command. And I will make a selection of it. And then I will go back to uh, the layers in here. And again, I will apply a layer mask. And then I will unlink this chain in here. And I will select this layer. And I'm going to press control T or command T. And again, I will resize this or you know, replace it where I want, somewhere right here. So this way you can have that illusion of the broken mirror. Alright, and I will press enter. Alright, so I'm gonna keep uh, doing this and I will be back in a second.
All right, as you can see, I done creating all this layer mask in here. Now uh, you can see the the whole effects in here. As you can see, we have this kind of illusion of broken mirrors in here. Now we need to make a background so we can hide this uh, transparency that we have in here. So I will close this folder for now, and then I will go to adjustments and I will choose solid color, and I will just use a white color. It will be fine, and I will put it under this mirror folder in here and now we have a background all right now we'll uh, select this mirror texture and now we're gonna use it so i'm gonna uh, make it visible and i will put it under this main image and then i will change the blending mode of it to screen and as you can see this will give it this kind of cool uh, mirror scratches and also it will make it more believable that looks like a mirror but we need like to darken it a little bit more so we can see all these cracks in here so I'm gonna press Ctrl L or Command L on a Mac and you can see this will bring the level adjustment and I will darken it a little bit just quite a bit till we see uh, some of the details of uh, the texture and I hope it's okay alright now I'm gonna make a copy of it so I'm gonna press Ctrl J and I will change the blending mode of it this time to color dodge and you can see this will make these cracks appear more and that's what we want all right now i will go and open another texture which is this one in here so i'm gonna take it and open it in here and i will make it bigger so it will fit and uh, you don't need to worry about it to be stretched or anything because it's a texture and i'll press enter all right now i'm gonna rasterize it so i'm gonna right click and choose rasterize layer and I will call it texture and then I will change the blending mode of it to uh, screen too but again we need to darken it so I'm gonna press ctrl L or command L on a Mac and I will darken it quite a bit until I see all these uh, scratches tiny scratches in here all right and I will press ok next I will reduce the opacity of it a little bit around 30 or 25 it will be fine all right as you can see now we have uh, this kind of look of uh, a really cool grungy mirror all right so uh, let's add one more thing to this uh, mirror folder so i will go and i will open it and i will select uh, some of them and i will add a little bit of blur so i'm gonna start with this one in here so i will go to filter and i'm gonna choose blur Gaussian blur and I will give it just a little bit of blur around 1 pixel or 1.5 it will be good and I will press ok and you can add this or not it depends uh, on what you like I think it will add a little bit of uh, variety to the image so I'm gonna do the same for this one so let me find it alright so I will select it and go to filter Gaussian blur and I will add a little bit of blur as you can see now we have uh, some uh, blurness going on in the mirror and I will add one more well, let's let's use this one in here all right so I will go to filter Gaussian blur again and I will give it a little bit of blur around 4 but this time I'm gonna use this smart filter in here as you can see this white one I'm gonna use a regular brush and I will lower the opacity of it a little bit and with the black color I can now hide some of this blur that I just added in here so I'm gonna hide a little bit of it just like that all right and I will do the same for this one uh, in the bottom so I'm gonna select it and then I will go to filter Gaussian blur again and I will uh, give it the same and again I will use the smart filter in here so I'm gonna delete some of the blur and there we go we have uh, a really cool blurness going on in here all right so we're done now it's time to uh, uh, use this template on another image and see how uh, it will work all right so I will open the smart object again by double click on it on here or you know you can right click and choose it is content and now basically we can uh, place another image in here all right so let's go and find another one all right let's use this one so i'm gonna take it and open it in here 
and again I will make it bigger so it will fit just like that and I will one click on this check mark all right now we'll close it to save it so I'll press yes I will wait for it and there we go we have the same uh, effect mirror effect applied on this image too and that will be all so I hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know uh, let me know if you tried this I would love to see how uh, it's gonna look uh, with your picture and have a nice day thank you for watching